Hey everybody, happy Friday. Today's rant is gonna be pretty quick and it's going to be on electromagnetism and your body. And just a little little experiments I've done and why I think a certain way. Sometimes I learn things and you literally get the opposite explanations and they both make complete sense in the strangest way. So then I have to go do experiments for myself and make my own decisions. This is one of them. So feng shui matters. I understand it very well now and I never did and now I'm completely aware of it at all times it's kind of creepy but about a year ago maybe two years ago I ordered these big old magnets and they weren't labeled I didn't know which side of the magnet was north and which side of the magnet was south but I needed to know that to do these little experiments with plants etc so what did I do I got a plate it's a classic experiment you put oil on the plate you put your big old block magnet on the plate and you shake the plate flat in whichever direction is corresponding magnetic north and magnetic south of the earth that magnet goes shoot and it pulls quick and it is very, very obvious which direction is which. And that magnet will spin on that plate of oil and it will go shoot and it will align perfectly every time. So as long as you're shaking it well, the right way, flat and smooth and your plate doesn't, it's not dented and cracked and all that stuff. So with that said, if that magnet yanks really quick, just like that, and there's this ever present electromagnetic pull that we are always experiencing, call it etherically, however you want to say it, you can call it just gravity, but there's way more going on. This electromagnetic pull that's always happening. Do you really not think it's important to understand what's happening to trace minerals and things like iron and other soft metals, heavy metals, or all types of minerals that are in your blood, in your blood, in cymatics. The cymatics of all this matters too, because water is magnetic. But say your blood, which is mostly water, that has iron in it, do you really not think that it will be affected by this electromagnetic field that I'm explaining? So when you sleep, um, I think it's important to have the corona north side of your head facing south and the south side of your spinal column or your feet facing north. The reason I think that is because when I take a little magnet and I put the south side facing up underneath a, a cup with a seed in it, the seed is in the dirt, okay, and I have this cup. I did experiments where the south side of the magnet facing up increased the magnetic field, the capacitance of that magnetic field, and the, the seed germinated faster, the plant was stronger, it was denser, it was healthier, and uh, it turned out to be a beautiful plant, these beautiful little plants. Well, with that said, when you lay down to sleep, I think the north side of my head should be facing, facing south, and the south side of my, my um, spinal column and my feet should be facing north. And the reason being is because that would be increasing the capacitance in the same manner. It reminds me of when all the planets aligned. Remember like it was like a month ago, maybe two months months ago, when the, all the planets were like in a perfect line. That was like perfect alignment. And there was all types of heightened awareness and craziness if, for people that understand that stuff and are into it. Well, I feel like when I do that, my blood is organized. My Everything is reorganized when I sleep. It's like you're recharging and you're realigning. You're in this like perfect system, yet we're we're supposed to be wrecked during the day. Yet during the day when I'm vertical, it's like a completely different system and you're playing off the sun and moon. And you know, experiments are important. So I wanna know what you guys think about that. That's what I think and that's what I've been practicing. And I love my sleep when my, the north side of my crown is facing south and the south side of my feet are facing north. That's my favorite sleep. When I watch my wife sleep, when her head faces west and her feet face east, I swear she plays with like moon cycles, the magnetic pull of the moon. And I think, we think that the way she sleeps with her head facing west and her feet facing east, we think that that's the perfect way for her to sleep right now, okay? You know, she does have a child inside, yada, yada. She's very connected to her moon cycles. So I don't know, but it seems, it feels perfect. Her sleep seems even better than mine, but mine doesn't do that great east and west. But if it is east and west, I do way better when the north side of my head faces west and south and my feet face east. So I will say that the same, same, same way she does east and west works for me as well. But I feel like my sleep is better and I'm more aligned when I sleep the, the north side of my head facing south and my feet facing north. And so I wanna know what you guys think about that. If you've ever done it, if you wanna think about it, if you have any questions or theories, or if you learned something that's the opposite of everything I'm saying, and you learned something from some article somewhere in academic science, whatever. Show me an experiment or tell me what you think, or if you have any questions, let me know. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Peace.